Hello, and welcome to another of my DAS tutorials. Today I will show you how to use the camera and DOF depth of field in DAS. For this tutorial I am using Maria for G8. And for scene I will be using a HDRI. I have chosen Pine Beach and I will use the 4K scene. But without the depth of field as I will make my own using a camera. I am loading the scene. But it will only be visible with iRay mode. It is a little bit too bright so in the render setting and tone mapping. I will reduce the exposure value. As you can see she is floating over the ground. So I will have to place her firmly on the ground. In this menu I will make the floor visible. I will select the character and in the pose tab right click and choose move to floor. and dome rotation, you can rotate the scene to find a different background. I think I will stick with the C as background for now. Now let's create a new camera from the Create menu. Choose Copy Active View, so the camera will appear as your perspective view. In the Camera tab, go down to Headlamp and choose Off. I will now choose the camera view, and you can see the difference in quality when you view it in iRay mode. To get the depth of field, let's move the camera away from our object. and in the camera tab under camera. Let's use the focal length to zoom in. Now we want to select the camera in our scene tab. Go back to perspective view and move the focal distance towards the object. And with f-stop we will narrow the focal depth.
Now let's inspect it in camera view. You can play around with these two values to get more or less depth of field. And as you can see we have a blurry background and a blurry foreground. If you narrow the f-stop over your object the more blurry it gets. As you can see the shadow under her feet shows that she is still a bit off from the sand. So in the parameter tab, I will nudge her down a bit. Now let's see what it looks like in a render. I will speed up this a bit. I find this a little bit too blurry on the ground under her. So I will widen the f-stop to expose the ground under her more clearly. This looks much better. The background is blurred and the object and space under her is clear. Now let's see what a close-up looks with depth of field. Move the focal length up close. Then move the focal distance and adjust the f-stop.
With this blue sky we don't see much, so let's move around the dome rotation in the render settings. This looks better so let's render it. You see how clear the object is and the background has a lot of blur. You can play around with these settings to get exactly what depth of field you would want with your render. I hope this tutorial was helpful to you, and thanks for watching. If you want to see more tutorials like this, please like and subscribe to this channel, and if you would like me to do any specific tutorial, do put that in the comments below.